Not sure if you've ever been to a cat cafe before. <laughs> they look amazing, but we're gonna turn this hallway into a version of one and I'm very excited about it. It is sort of an awkward shape with lots of travel through it and lots of doors. I will say this is the most detailed floor plan anyone has ever sent me. I do appreciate it, even the not to scale. It just made my day. So what we are left with is really a large corner that they would like to have as a hangout for them and their cats. They do own this house, but they'd rather not get into the projects like painting and new lighting. They've already purchased a lot of catwalk items. This chair must go and they have about a thousand dollars. They love modern boho, so let's get into it. I know you said you don't want to paint but i'm hoping you'll be on board with an accent i do want to define this corner so this is a trust the process situation next we'll bring in all the cat furniture where they can go up and down and you can add those cat portraits i spotted i did just want to pause and say you guys are killing it as cat parents he just wants you to know he's he's very jealous to continue to define this area we are going to grab a rug and a sofa i know you love to thrift and find secondhand items so these are going to be suggestions but even all brand new i did stay in the thousand dollar range i picked this sofa for two main reasons the price and it's velvet. Cats actually don't love to claw velvet. It's not a woven fabric, so cat hair also just wipes right off of it. I picked this rug because it's white and it fits your boho style, and I have it and my cat loves it. I also grabbed a velvet storage ottoman for this wall. I liked it because it has storage, it's white, it can be used as a seat, or let's be honest, a cat bed. And I just grabbed some fun pillows on Amazon. You only have one light for this whole space, so I do think we could use a lamp. And we'll grab a coffee table. Tripod base is better than a single pole for knocking over. And a coffee table that's good for mugs and books, and it's only $20. I noticed you did have cat food right here. I did move it under the stairs so you can have a storage cabinet right here that will hold all of it. I do think you could thrift this item if you like. I've even seen people transform cabinets into litter boxes. I found this on Amazon and I thought he matched all your cat furniture. Since it's on carpet, I think a mat like this would be great underneath it. And you could hang that mirror I spotted right above it. So from an awkward pass-through space to a lounge for the spoiled feline and their awesome parents. 